Hey out there, and good morning, everybody. My name is Raven, and we are playing Arya Chronicle this morning. Thank you for joining me. Where we left off yesterday, we were uh, putzing around, uh, killing some time with one of the challenge modes. It looks like there's a type of like boss rerun mode, which looks pretty cool. But that is not what we're up to for now. So we are going to be heading right back into this. We're spending some time getting our one of our sub parties caught up. We're making sure that we have a party ready for this repeatable Dust Canyon quest, which I want a party that's going to be able to actually like move through the map relatively easy. That's going to be able to backtrack and kind of know where the bonfires are. So we're not just like wandering aimlessly. But to do that means we need to kill some time and make sure they are healthy, happy, healthy, and ready to go. So that's what we're going to be doing today. It's just a little bit of grind. So we're going to head back into what is this? Oh, okay, so objects consume more stamina. There's a lot of enemies on this map, but we're looking for the mines. So, well, right off the bat, we'll find one, which is excellent, and we're going to head north around and see what we can find. Oh, this is a lot of enemies. And we were surprised, and they're vengeful. That's not great. Confusion right off the bat is really rough. Uh, taking away attackers is not wonderful, but not only taking them away, but turning them into a positive for our enemies is very problematic. So we are actually just going to go right off the bat and heal here. Ugh, they're just going to keep punching each other in the base here. We probably need to get rid of the poison sooner than later, which I'm not really... Oh boy. Uh, let's take a look here and see where it is. It's floating around the back line. Let's just get rid of all of this stuff on the back line, or as much as we can out of it. I think we're going to have to have him arcane wave the back, because these confusions are very yucky. We'll see if he can... Oh, he got two of them. I'll take it. We're going to Vortex. We're going to try to set her up. Oh, wow. He's missing everything here. Um, stop it. <laughs> I need to actually hit the targets. Uh, so he's going to repoison us, which is just going to be what it is. We'll light wave up here. See what we can hit. Ugh. Ugly. 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 But we do have the regeneration shield, so it's not the worst thing ever. It's definitely not pretty. I kind of want to try to take this out before it gets a turn. But I don't think we can do enough damage in time. Maybe. Uh, yep, no, there it goes. Explodes. We'll just auto this down for the rest of it. We still have that healing aura, which is helpful. Oh, big crit there. Nice. Whee! Let's take everything and get going. In any case, if you're just joining us, mm. thank you very much. My name is Raven. We're playing Arya Chronicles this morning. If you enjoy hanging out today, please, please do the like, share, subscribe thing. Check out the links below to help support me. You can check out our replays both here on Twitch and over on YouTube. Alright, so let's immediately... Let's just bone strike here. Try to build some armor. Uh, yeah, the Sully is a problem. Ah, she's missing a lot right now, which is not excellent. So the thing we have to worry about is the fact that this thing just does a ton of damage when it sullies. So we probably need to keep an eye on that and make sure it doesn't get to... It's like blow our entire front line uh, out here. Because it'll apply the debuffs and then it'll blow them up. And that's really ugly when it blows them up. Oh, man. We are not doing well with hitting our targets. There we go. There's 10. Luckily, it hasn't gotten to exploder mode yet. But there we go. That's something. Do I want to cure or do I want to keep the pressure up? I kind of want to keep the pressure up. Yep, there it is. So that does a ton of damage. And now we really need to finish this thing off before it can... Oh. 
Why are we missing so much? This is bad. There we go. Get some damage in. Just keep punching. Arrow again. There we go. That was not pleasant. A lot of misses there, but we did get something nice out of it. The Obsidian Orb is a good pickup. Okay, so we took some damage there. We're not unhealthy, but it's not great either. That's awful. Corrosion's problematic. So we have our signpost. Now we find some ore. Which is what we're here for. Okay, so we're going to go down. Hello, Mr. Merchant. What do you have today that we want? Keys, maybe? Um, let's take a minute and look at our inventory. Oh, well. Let's... Yeah, we have a lot of stuff in our inventory. And we're already maxed out, so that is a little concerning. Can we get rid of anything safely or reasonably? Okay. So what this means is we can start using the Witch's Cauldrons. Uh, we are just going to sell one of those. We can probably sell two of those and not feel too bad. We're just going to kind of carefully make some space here. Okay, so now we're going to... We're going to do two things here. We're going to let her handle some healing. We're going to let her handle some healing. And then we're just going to go ahead and use one of these. No. Use? Weird. So the way you have to navigate your menus sometimes in this game is really weird. But we'll do that. Oh, speaking of the Witch's Cauldron, of course. Let's throw... What? Let's throw like... Five... Ten potions into it. See what happens. Let's throw... A couple of gems into it. See what happens. Why not, right? Like... We're curious. We'll see what we end up with. Yeah, why not? Some copper. And let's throw some essence into it. Okay. Here we go. Random pile. And we got a bunch of essence. That's... Not really what you want, but it is what it is. So let's search the well. That's good. That was helpful. Another Witch's Cauldron. I probably need to stop spending energy like this. So we're going to spend... South? Yes. The well is dry. Of course it is. We'll come over here, get these pustulant things. We'll try to vortex them out. Some frostbite down. Maybe we can stun one. That's helpful. I'm going to let her... She doesn't have any, like, AoE type attacks. That seems okay. Hmm. Kind of a harder call. Let's maybe see if she can sleep the back line. She cannot. Well, Light Wave, though. Try to put down a couple of these. This one's going to explode. You, I would like to... Huh. It's also kind of a hard call. We'll set you up for a wave, probably. Ouch. Yep, and they're just gonna take their shots here. He took a kind of a shot that I didn't want him to take, but that's just unfortunate. We'll shoot the back line. Do as much as we can here. They're both going to explode. Ugh. He's just taking tons of damage here. And we're just gonna bash through until they can... Okay. So we got through them. It was painful, but it was quick at least. We need to heal again. Luckily, we have a ton of potions to do it. Yep. One. Two. There we go. And we'll keep moving. Uh, huh. We'll come over this way. Start to work our way through this. Shovel this out. Walk right into the poison. Like a good player does, right? Just walk right into everything that hurts. 
So we're going to take a little heal here. Okay, it's not a little heal. But we're going to take a big heal here. Welcome to more poison. Uh, walk through it. Well, we did find another mine. That's good. We're getting through this slowly but surely. We're going to have her heal again. Now I have to be a little bit aware of her MP. All of our armor is super busted at this point. Okay, so let's take a second here. Look at the map. My instincts say that that position over there on the right is probably through this. So let's bust this open. See where it goes. And our inner stamina is starting to hurt pretty badly. I was very wrong on that. That's unfortunate. But it did push us to another position on the map. Which is not going the direction I would have expected or hoped for. Let's, uh, we're going to have to skip that for now. But this is really good. So we did find a campfire to recover our, our energy. We'll head this way for now and see if it loops around back to another stairway. Uh, usually there's only two in a dungeon this size. So we'll see what we find. There we go. Okay, so it did push us to this kind of orphaned area. A couple of spirits, a couple of archers. Infernal Vortex. We'll see what we can get to land. No Sully's going to come down. We'll hammer this one. Try to Wow. Big hit there. Try to pick up a stun is what I was going to say, but it doesn't matter. So we're going to light wave the back row. We're just going to do a lot of damage there and get some blinds down. And I'm just going to let you auto... Not That's not the one I wanted to hit. Petrify is not great. We'll take some, some arrows here. Okay, we'll take an arrow here. And now we're just going to try to bust through this, this line. Petrify dispelled. That's good. All right. Good job, team. And we're just going to keep trucking. We'll get some Crusader armor. Which will go into the forge next time we hit one. Here's a nice big shiny chest. So this cost us three keys overall. Not terrible. Not excellent. But that's okay. The energy cost is really more of the concern. Because that did cost us like 30 energy to do. So now we are in this position. We'll bust through debris. Head back this way. Okay, so speaking of a forge. Now, I am going to throw a ton of armor into this. And we'll see what we end up with. Because why not, right? Like, uh-huh. The ring, I'm not worried about. Three. Okay. Let's see what we get out of this. Hopefully it's decent. Interesting. I mean, I'll take it. That makes up for the... Uh, Oops, we had earlier when I accidentally blew up uh, Tyla's. Ooh, but she's got, like, Accuracy Evasion Sword right now. It's kind of hard to, to give that up. But I do like having a little more attack power on her, so we'll go that route with it. Um, so Dark and Sully. Light. So she's really Dark Resist right now, but she's not excellent against Light. And we're slowing her down a little bit. But that's just kind of where she's at. Oh, that's what armor repair kits do. Interesting. Okay. So we can start backtracking now. We're going to lose a ton of energy to backtrack. Which is unfortunate. But, uh, lucky. It costs us one stamina to recover our stamina. That's also fun. So we're going to bust through debris. I think... So there's still a lot to explore here, so I don't want to just spend energy to do things. Oh, it talks, takes energy to talk to him, too. That's, that's rude. This belt... It's tempting, but I think I'm going to pass on it. The shovel... No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the shovel. Uh, yeah, so we do need shovels at this point. That's good. So that's a treasure chest, a nice big one. A little armor and an alarm clock. We're going to go left here. We're going to pick up this enemy, and we're going to start mapping this side of the map. More of these little jerks. So we're going to see what we can get done here. Try to drop their aim a little bit. I think... I don't know if it's better to let her... 
It's hard to say. Uh, we do know that they're going to do a bunch of AoE, though. So let's just go ahead and let her do that. We'll pop one right off the bat. Jerks. Bash this one in. Let it explode. And pretty much exactly what we suspected would happen is happening. So we're going to Spirit Link here. Try to get them both some MP. Ouch. Yep, an auto attack to our healer. And now we're just... I think we can just auto through them and we'll be okay. Maybe not. Let's... Let's... Let's take the light arrow. Nice. Let, let her bash this one and try to explode it. There we go. And he should be able to auto through this. There we go. Okay. I mean, we took a bunch of damage, but some of it was at least mitigated by our healing dance. Which... It is what it is. You know, you do... That, that's the name of this game, really, is Mitigate the Horrible. Because it is highly RNG-based, and it seems like the RNG for negative is reasonable. Okay. So, something happened with her, but it didn't tell us what. But that's okay. So there's a pile of boxes. We'll search. We get some cat food. Sleep. Okay, that's a little weird. We'll throw that into the fire later. I feel like this is probably correct. Yep. It's going to cause a little bit of backtrack, but I'm not as worried about that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to vortex here, see what we can get done. Frostbite and a lot of Sully, which luckily slows them down. Now the question is how to go about this. Let's pop this one. Let's light wave the back row, see what we can get. Blind. Oh, that's so close. Like, any AoE attack from you would be excellent. Um, do we want to risk the 90 or risk not killing this? Let's, no, she's doing a ton of damage. She can definitely kill one. Confusions are always a problem. We have to worry about uh, what attacks our own party is going to use against us. So let's go ahead and actually let you spirit... Does that do what I think it does? Link the Invoker in the Chosen Alley and both get MP. Okay, so let's go ahead and link to you. Take the MP at the end of the turn? No? Okay. Uh, we could have Spirit Blasted there, but I think we're fine. I'm just going ahead and doing that. I, that's weird. She didn't recover any MP. Maybe it's because of the status element or whatever, but that felt a little wasteful. So we're going to go down. Ooh, a cannon. This might. Cannon hit the mark and the monsters are howling. Okay. Interesting. I guess we blew up uh, a monster camp without seeing it, knowing it's there. That's good. We'll take a, pick up some healing and we'll walk into the poison because that's how this... This works. A little treasure chest for us. Um, not too bad. Not great. And what I think is the last monster camp. Bunch of spirits and some other jerks. So we'll blow these up. I want to get rid of the poison one first, I think. But we are going to just go for a healing dance here. Just because I'm not 100% sure what's on the menu. We're going to blind the back row with light. We'll hammer at... This one, because she may be able to just kill it outright, which is great. We're going to set him up for something, I'm not sure what. Weakness, Petrify. Petrify is annoying. We'll take that. He's going to vomit on us. Luckily, the debuffs were mostly resisted. Now, I'm going to Arcane Arrow here and try to finish this out. Yep. Ooh. She can auto. Now, we can either auto through... Or... Okay, so I don't think she gets her turn, so we are just going to eat the extra MP in Light Wave. Yep. So far, so good. Ooh, stilettos. Oh, yuck. Speed down, evasion down. Crit three. I mean, we'll take them, but... I don't even know who those go to. Actually, I do. I do, don't I? Um... 10% XP is really, really not super doing what I want. 
The effect chance is nice, though. But I think overall... Okay, so... She loses some speed. She loses some evasion. Her effect chance drops. Her mez and her XP goes up. But she gains a lot of attack power and some crit rate. Hmm. Let's see here. Where do her stats look like? Accuracy and evasion are below the par. Yeah, I don't think she can afford that without something to boost her accuracy. I mean, that's 2% there, but that's not enough at all. She needs like a 7% <laughs> accuracy buff. Uh-oh. Okay. I mean, she gains some for attacking the backline. Oh, man, that's after... Oh, the, okay, so there's another 3% that's that's there. And then there's... Hypo... Okay. So overall... I don't think she can afford to wear these. Unfortunately. Uh, so we will put her back on the shell bell for now. And maybe... Nah, she's already got feet. Okay, well, we'll have to look at our secondary parties and see if any of them can afford those. Because the accuracy on that is... Oh, there's a bleed. It is The accuracy loss there is pretty pretty gross. That's pretty good. That's a paladin item all around. Armor, light attack, dark resist. Yeah, let's actually take a look at that versus what she's already got it on. Yay! Oh, well. So we'll pick this up. Bleed out while we're moving. Dragon statue. Interesting. We'll take some healing, some MP. That's not awful at this uh, juncture. Whose MP do I want to use, though? Healing prayer. I think I'm just going to him the front row after another bleed here. Okay, so here's the end of the map. That is everything we needed here. But we are definitely not done. Let's do the healing thing. We'll do this twice. That's a lot of MP, but we just do want to be somewhat healthy. Do not ridicule the dead, of course. She's going to prevent us from having... getting what we needed or wanted to out of this. And there's a sword. Okay, so I think that's the entire map. Right? Correct. Looks good. All right, let's head home. See what we can find in the village. So she's got hypometria as one of her. What are these traits? Which trait? Her body type, which I'm not really big on. Um, I think I want not that. Wow, some of these are not fantastic. I don't know what I want on her, but I know it's not that. Maybe it's nearsighted? Myopia? Yeah. Interesting. Skinny is definitely not correct. Survivor would be nice on her, but I, you can't just give that to them. Vertically challenged. Slim legs? No, because she's on the front line a lot. It's another survivor. Muscular is going to mess up her accuracy. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, right now this isn't... Oh, no, that is actually really bad. That's messing up her overall accuracy. So maybe that'll fix her problem. Let's look at her stats real quick. Like her accuracy is 98. There's a small deficit, but it's not like huge. Negative 5 makes it a little more iffy, though. Maybe I just need to give her a an accurate weapon, and that fixes it? Hmm. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So, if I give her this... Oh, that doesn't affect her accuracy. It affects her evasion and her speed. That's actually fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. And now I can adjust this, because it's attack power or something. She's going to lose some attack power, but she's going to gain some resist and some armor. I'm pretty okay with that. I don't think I mind this either, though. Um, hmm. 
So she gains a little bit of armor, loses some attack power, but her magic goes up. And I think all of her infernal explodey attacks are based on this. I don't mind her crit rate going up. Let's just do this. Let's see how this turns out. It may be wrong. It may be right. We'll figure it out. You are looking okay. I don't think I found a better armor for you yet. But your necklace is not fantastic. I don't want that on you. Let's let you... Hmm. Let's do that, I guess. And then you've got a ring of protection for when you do get punched. You're looking pretty good overall. Healing powers. Do, 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 do. You have a belt here. Which ups your evasion. And I really want to find a way to up your accuracy though. So let's see if I can... What is it? The ring... Like a basic ring of some kind to up your accuracy. Okay, maybe not for now. But a lot of you need... Uh, that's going to dump your aggro a little bit, which I'm not big keen on. But you do have a number of other things giving, giving you that. But I think we're okay for now. The scimitar's okay. In your case... You're looking pretty good over that. I'm reasonably okay with what you're doing. You're fine. You, again, we need to find better mage armor. I need to make a lot of better mage armor. Um, yeah. Did I find, no, we found crusader armor. Which, for the most part, is not going to be super helpful at this exact juncture. But, it is what it is. So we picked you up because we want to give layman to people. Um, yeah. Okay. So we'll check the tavern. We don't like hypometria, so we want to find another body type that's not as... Uh difficult to work with. What's one of clarity? Hmm. Interesting. Big headed. Uh I don't think I have any mages that, that really benefits right now. Myopia. That's the one we just got rid of. Lurker, Gambler's Fallacy. Eye for an eye is on our mage. Hmm. If you take damage. Yeah. But that does dump his HP a little bit. And there's Chonky. Which. Okay, not excellent. And then bad luck and timid. Yeah. There's nothing here. There's a gladiator though. Hmm. Yuck. <laughs> Summon skeletons robbed us of vitality. Okay, so the zombie dragon, you have to be able to heal a lot. The demogorgon uh, has lightning. Interesting. Some ball lightning. And when it absorbed them. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. So there's a couple of tips for the, I think, new bosses. Or for some of the encounters coming up in the... Oh boy. New weapons. We can make new shinies. Uh huh. That's right. This has been a little while. Um, I do like that shield. But I think the orbs are going to be more important. Overall. Let's take a look at all of this. Yep, so we're going to make these for sure. We will clear our inventory out as much as we can here. Yep. Now we have to kind of think. We know we're going to need lightning resist rings. 
eventually, just based on the tip that that guy just gave us. So we may end up just making a bunch of those sooner than later. But at the moment, I kind of want to look at these. I think magical attack plus two, healing plus two is really good. The dagger's on one of our subunits. We don't really need that yet. Crit and attack up or attack accuracy. Evasion. This is attack six, crit two, crit up. I think this is probably one of the better better picks. Hmm. If I have to choose between the two, I think I'm going to take the sword at this juncture. Because one more units can use it. And two... Give me shovels. Uh, yeah. I, I Just more units can use it, so I think we're going to be better off taking that. We have a lot of middle in essence again. We're going to make even more. Yay. Okay, now let's go ahead and check out the market. We can buy this stuff now? Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Heck yeah. Um, hmm. So now, let's see where these items are going. The sword's definitely going to you. Yep, a little less, a little more. Now... Let's check out... You're getting a new bow. Armor down, attacks up. Eh, it's, that's a trade-off. I think that also means I can go back to the smithy. Hi. And we can make this axe as well. Yep. Cool. Which means Arya... Getting a new shiny as well. Sweet. Just straight up upgrades. So we're looking pretty healthy right now. Um, let's head back. Wait, can, I make... can we start making new. Oh, I can also make one of these. Um, yeah, we're gonna make one of those. And we also wanna make these. I think I wanna make like three of these. But I'm only going to make two to start. What's the difference? Okay, Mez Resist. That's fine. She's already got it. She's got a Mist Robe on. She's got Ceremonial Robes. It's, that is better. But it's close enough. Yep, main party priority. And... I can probably just make one more. Not worry about it. Wow, a lot of them are still wearing that. That's that's kind of a thing. Let's see here. Yep, you get one, and then I need what? One one more. Yep. Okay. So that's enough making those. And you actually might have another orb available. Uh, magical attack charge two, magical attack down one. You cannot wear shields, so, but you can do this. What did you have equipped? It doesn't matter. Okay. So now we need to edit the party. We're going to take this lower party, which is level fives. And we will take you two... Okay, wait, who do we need to... Wait a minute. Okay, so Renata's is still upsetty. We're actually not going to take her. So that kind of makes this a little easier. There's Miroslava. Yamila... Wait, which units do I not need to take? Can I not take on this? There's a reason I can't take certain units. I don't remember which ones. Crap. Cancel selection, please. Like, I wish I could see their... Okay, so who do I need to not take here? Party? Thank you. Um, so the main party obviously can't go. I think it's just mostly like... I should just write this down. Um, Dax... So Renata needs to go on the main one. Chloe needs to go on the main one. 
Bay needs to go. Okay. And what is it? Aurelia probably. Dowsing. Oh, that's what it is. It's Yamila, Aurelia, Bay, Chloe. Roland. Okay, so Roland, Chloe, Faye, Aurelia, Yamila. Okay. Oh, and Amar. Crap. I wish you could, like, create parties. So we know he's... N well, yeah. So we know he's not... We know he's coming with us we're not worried about him Miro can come with us okay so there's four who else so which means Yamila, Amara, Aurelia Chloe and Faye is the party that's going to the other one it's going to be a little bit rough on them but it'll be okay let's swap you two no Hello, here we go, and you with you. Okay, so this party's gonna be a little bit rough. We don't have a lot of healing, but we have a crap ton of items. Uh, let's just go ahead and do the blessings. Two, three, I'm not 100% sure what those do, but why not? I can't upgrade that yet. There's nothing else really doing at this juncture. This is a level 5-ish party. So let's... I don't really want to do the White Mountains right now. Um, Let's... And I need to hold on to my... Potions, right? Because we only have so many. How many... How many Holy Potions do I have? I have a lot. So that's actually okay. Let's sell a stack of these, though. Let's sell a stack of this. Let's sell a stack of that. We're just kind of making some space now. Uh, we can sell a stack of those. Because we are getting low. I don't think I'll ever use those, but we'll see. This is going to be one of those runs that probably eats a lot of resource out of us. Uh, yeah, that can go also. Okay. So let's see how this goes. I'm not super confident in this party, but we just need to get through this. Insect swarm. Hazards everywhere. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, for a party that doesn't have a healer. Okay, let's spend some gold if this goes poorly. Good. So we have more blessings. And here's a dead child who wants her doll. That's a little not great. Here's one of them. Let's bust this out. One down. And we are bleeding all over the place. So let's... I get... That's 60. I don't want to use that yet. The vines, the stump. Let's check the stump. That's okay. Break through the vines. Uh, that's a rabbit hole. I'm not really sure. Hmm. I think we'll come back for that, because I don't know if there's an orphan part of this map yet. We don't have a lot of our... Well. That was wasteful. Um, now we're going to head through it. Might as well. Maybe it'll take us to a different part of the map. And it did. Maybe it'll take us to an orphan area. So now we know we're going to have to backtrack a little bit. Ooh. Bees. That's good. So we'll walk this way. There's a treasure chest. That's good. That's less good. It's going to blow up on us. And there's nothing of real value there. There's a merchant here. He's got potions. We'll probably have to buy the potions. 
He doesn't really have anything great, but I'm going to pick this up because this is just what we're going through in this map. This is going to be a Witch's Cauldron. What do I want to do with this? I don't want to just throw a bunch of materials into it and see what happens. Yeah, what the heck, right? Like, let's throw five, whatever. 10, couple of repairs. Why not, right? We're, we're kind of on the see what happens part of this. Um, What else do we have extra of? Not mithril ingots. Iron ingots? There are three of those. Two of these. Two of these. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. Why not? One, two. Okay, let's see what we get out of it. We might not get anything, but we also might get something interesting. We got nothing. So that was kind of a waste, unfortunately. So we'll track back this way. Her health is not doing great at the moment. So we will just go ahead and pop one of these. Being on the front line, being a lower level. Oh, no, that's not We're just going to waste some energy here. Head south and find our first encounter of the map. Trolls in a pretty diverse backline. I'm going to let you go ahead and guard stance on this and then taunt. Just because I don't want to really push our luck too much. She doesn't have conf Oh, she does have confound. So she's going to confound, target him, bust out his garbage. I'm going to let him rain the back because I think we'll still be able to, to do that. He's only dark weak, so I think we'll go ahead and do I want to bust his aim up or do I want to just take his abilities away? Let's Sorry. see if we can drop his aim here with Frostbite. That'll be good. So we'll see them start coming at us. Like, the extra aggro does not seem to really do much in this game, unfortunately. We're going to gouge. We'll see what we can get. A bleed is nice. He'll take a shot. And, oh, that was a lot of fear. We'll miss our arrows because that's just what our luck is. Decoy. So she's going to hack here, try to get him down. We'll follow up with arrows because he's reasonably accurate. Fear, fear. We're just losing turns all over the place now, which is not good. Wolf friend is going to summon another friend. Uh, we're going to... We're going to bash this thing because if it keeps mangling us, we're going to be in trouble and our arrows miss. So she's going to hack through this, also miss. We're going to lose turns to fear. I'm going to fire away of the front here. Try to get them down. That's good. We'll let him hack through. And we kind of hit a point where like we have to be careful um, with what resources we're spending. Like We just have to be very mindful of our health. Ugh. And that's super bad. So let's wake him up. Put the clothes pin in. Let's... We gotta be careful here. Free action, first aid. So that'll get him somewhat healthy. Hopefully healthy enough that he'll get to... Lifesteal. Or we'll be able to kill them before they get to turn. I could've pro... No, he's... That wouldn't have mattered. So let's keep stabbing away. And get through this. It's a little loud, so we're gonna turn down the volume. There we go. We'll take our items. And that was not a great round. Oh no. Here's another one. I should have healed between. I think it'll be okay. But it's definitely not where I want to be. We're going to change him to attack stance. And we're going to swipe. Like, we're going to try to get... Big hit there. Try to get these down before they can do a ridiculous amount of damage to us. Uh, two turns later, inflicting extremely... Okay. Rapid shot. Hmm. That seems really good. Let's take it, especially as a free action. And he is just sniping things. He can auto that down. Wow. He can not only auto that down, he can do a ton of damage when he does it. And he's just going to hack through that one. I wish... Um, I, I probably should have healed there with him, but... You know, foresight. Okay, so it looks like... Interesting. See stats for Ascension Mode. 
Well, that's not what we're really looking for right now. So let's make sure we're doing what we need to on our units. Pick you up. Pick a new talent. Small enemies. Metabolism for healing. Upgrade targeting. Target the enemy and temporarily get a ton of aggro. That seems really bad. Use the jagged arrow. That seems good. That seems good. I think we're going to take Sawtooth Arrow, though. I just want him to, like, be able to cut through things. And you need to heal badly. Here's your opportunity. Please don't die again. Okay. Let's... We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take attack stance. And we're going to swipe. We're going to try to cleave through these. He does a ton of damage. We're going to fan here and see if we can kill two of these. Which we absolutely did. We're going to let you snipe the back row. You can elemental arrow and light up this guy. Excellent. And it's just going to burn to death before he gets a turn. And now you're going to lifesteal. Hopefully do a ton of damage here and heal for a lot. And you did. That fight went pretty much like as well as a trash encounter could. We healed a bunch, we dealt a ton of damage, like in rapid succession. I don't think we got hit there either, which was really good. But let's burn this open. Okay, cool, we found the girl's dolly. Hey, there's bees, this hurts. Now head over here, hopefully this is gonna be good stuff. And it was. Oh, but there's also an encounter here. Bees. Uh, yep. Same as last time. We're just gonna go through the motions here. Swipe again. Try to kill as much as reasonable. I don't think she's gonna be able to fan and kill anything. So we're just gonna take our shots here. Big crits. Bash through. Oh, it healed itself. Oh, no. So here comes the poisons. But I'm not super concerned about it. We don't... Well, we needed him to hit, but... Come on. Interesting. So she's gonna act on her own. Poison blade. Start shooting, and then we're just going to bash through them. Good stuff. Uh, a couple of small items, nothing big. So this was that. We're going to have to walk back through the bees here. No, not my favorite. We need to find a campfire soon here too, because this is starting to get a little concerning. That's not excellent also. Ow. We'll head back and around. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Let's see what you have today. Earthen Core. I don't know how many more units I have that can actually use that, but I am going to buy it just in case. City and Orb. I think most everybody's beyond it. Or close to beyond it. You might actually have the options of new weapons. Let's take a look at what we have here. Accuracy, speed, and attack. Yeah, so you do. And let's do the same thing I did on the other unit. Let's give you... Ooh, I can give you dual swords, though. Uh, sword and dagger, though, I think seems the most reasonable. But you have a lot of accuracy already. So let's just go double dagger... Or dagger, dagger axe. Same attack power, but there's more crit. Let's go dagger axe on you. For now. And we may even have new shinies. We do not. Okay. Cool. So let's break through here. We have to find a campfire, like, real soon. Let's bust the totem. Uh, head this way. That's a decision, but I think I'm going to not opt for it. We're going to go around. There's another one of these. Good. So there's only one left. Well, we only have nine stamina, too, which really means we only have, like, three more maps we can make. Or three more squares. Oh, no. I lied. We're actually in much more trouble than I thought because we have to backtrack now. Crud. Crud. So now we're going to start losing our shit. <laughs> we were surprised. I'm going to let you guard stance. Taunt. And then armor break. Good. Ooh. No. Stop. Oh. A lot of fear. Dodge. Yep. And they're just going to get all the attacks here. I 
don't know how many other units are even going to get turns, so I'm actually just going to have you heal yourself here. I'm going to let you ult, so this way every attack we do get is going to count for a little bit more. Let's Ice Wave and see if we can drop their accuracy a little bit. That's good. He's going to follow up with an attack. You are also going to just go to town on this. Pick up as much as you can. Heal yourself. Here's the fear. Here's the fears. This is exactly what we don't want. Let's crevasse. Let's see what we can do. 32. Chase it out. And now this should finish it. So one and a chaser. All right. <laughs> 69 Good stuff. In any case, if you're hanging out this morning, thanks for joining me. My name is Raven. We're playing Arya Chronicle. If you are enjoying yourself, please be sure to do the like, share, subscribe thing. Check out the links below to help support me. We are playing these types of story-driven JRPG games in the mornings, usually around 9 a.m. Eastern. And we've been playing Pokemon Unite lately in the evenings, uh, around 7 p.m. Eastern. So if you have interest in either of those, please come join me. Come hang out. It's been a lot of fun. If you'd like to see any of the replays, you can check those out both here on Twitch and over on YouTube. Just search for Raven1841. We are getting to going. Alright. So this was a miss. And now we're going to start losing stamina. Let's find a campfire. Unfortunate. We have no stamina to hit that. Alright, so here's a bonfire. That helps. It's going to improve our moods a little bit. We're going to get some stamina back. And hopefully that's going to be enough to help us finish this out. But we will see. We're just going to keep hacking away at this. Oh, no. Poison blades. Yep. So she's going to take her shots. You... I want to rapid fire. Yeah, so we'll take the free action rapid fire. Now we'll attack the... That. Uh, I'm gonna let you elemental wave, and that's a hard one. Let's yeah, let's just drop their their accuracy at the very worst. You should be able to hack through one of them, no problem. We'll get an auto attack back, and now we'll just finish them out. Not the super smoothest, but we did get them. That's all that matters in the end here. Be nice to find a forge here soon. So we'll start tracking down a little bit. The documents. I think not. Oh, so here's the last one of these. That's good. But at the very least, I'm going to backtrack and give this girl her doll back. We did it. Okay, we're going to get some levels. Uh, That's not excellent for her, but I also don't care because I'm about to eat her. We'll go this way, start finishing this out, see if we can link these, these routes back to each other. Nice big treasure chest. Uh, nothing great. We'll head south again. Head south. Uh-huh. Uh, we can do this this time. And we'll let you do it. See what we can do. Successfully lifted the weights. Got some pain. Go around, go up. No big issue. One more treasure chest. Get a gem, get some antidote, berries, maybe they won't poison us. That's good. And we should just be able to backtrack a couple of steps here. Give this girl her doll and then get out of here. Here's your doll. Tied. There you go. You're welcome. Very important to you. What is it? Mm, nothing of value. <laughs> Okay, well, I believe that's everything. I think we've mapped as much of this as is reasonable. Correct. Nope, there's one more zip line that we didn't hit, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. I don't have the energy to get back there, right? One, two, three, four, five. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, 15, no matter how we do that. Yuck. Anyway, let's head back to town. I will press any key. And now we will adjust our party. Oh, I forgot I have a wyvern token, too. That's pretty cool. 
Let's see, is there anything I really want to let go of at the moment? Not particularly. Some of these can go, probably. But, oh, did I forget to equip that? I think I did. Okay, so well, let's just do that now, I guess, because that's intelligent. And then let's... You, I'm going to unequip everything from you. And then we are unfortunately going to... Which trait did I want off of you? Layman. Who gets it, though? Hmm. Dragon Hunter? Dragon Hunter. Who's got a mediocre one? Uh, actually, I'm going to give it to Yamela. So you are going to... What? Traits. Hero details, please. So we're going to go... Either that or the healer. Hmm. Ornella could probably also use it. Nope, she's undead hunter. She's in a good position. So you are going to get eaten by the warlock. Yep. We're going to pass on layman for sure. Sweet. Yep. Inherited, plus level, plus XP. And that gets you caught up kind of to where I want you. Which means I think we can go on this next expedition. So let's see here. You've got Solvus. You've got upgraded Pollute. Seems good. Hmm. Carrier. Ugh. Or the speed evasion or upgraded defense. Nope, we're just going to take upgraded Pollute. That seems like one of the best options. <laughs> Excuse me. For you. Now, let's go ahead and double check all of these. I don't know what the last one was for, Elemental Hunter is pretty neat. We're looking for different body types at this moment as well. What's delicate? Delicate. Oh, that's pretty good. Skinny. No. But he's another layman. So we may just end up picking him up. Beast Hunter. Seems okay. Murphy's Law's not great. Nothing here seems great. Crit Dark Attack 2. Harmful Resist down. Hmm. Ardua. Uh. No. No. Okay. So, I think we can actually take our... The, the party we want to on this long expedition. So let's see what our... Oh, you're going to be a little behind, but I'm not super worried about it. And then we've got the monk and our cook. And I think that's the party we want. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. Thanks, game? Question mark? Aurelia. Chloe on the back line. Game. Please? I swear. Amar. Yamila. Bay. Aurelia. Chloe. That is our party. Thank you. Okay. So let's make sure everyone's well or reasonably geared. Amber orb. So we did get a better orb. Which you can equip. You have what you have for now. Yep. Yamila has... I almost want a better ring for you, but I think this is okay. And you are well to reasonably geared as well. Okay. Let's check the smith. See if there's anything super interesting or worthwhile. Nope. Crafting. I don't see anything available. Probably make more combat armor for this party. We might do. Um. Yeah. 
Well, soon we'll be able to craft the next upgraded set of items. But that's, I guess, that's just not gonna, not gonna do right now. The alchemy lab, shovels, please. We have keys. You can buy a close fan if I want it. Torches we're okay on. Healing pots we're okay on. Everything else looks fine. There's nothing we really want to craft here. Upgrade. Yeah. And let's take the blessings. Blessed truth. I don't know what these blessings actually do. Righteousness. We'll take them. And then we'll check the black market. So now the black market's starting to carry these items, which is really nice. And we have a trophy. Let's see if the trophy is actually going to help us all. And it does... More armor, uh, more venom scale armor in particular is going to be nice. You're wearing combat clothes though, but we did get, what did we get here? We just got this for monks, which, yeah, all about that. You're wearing combat armor, I believe. Yep. Which, not, like the, the venom scale is not as good as that. So this is what speed evasion each. So six HP. Hmm. So compared between the two, she's gonna lose some speed. She's gonna lose some poison resist. But her HP armor and evasion are gonna go up. Yeah, I'm gonna wear combat armor. Seems much better. Gladiator armor. Now we're just kind of checking to see if there's anybody who who would really benefit from that. You would. Also, it's a small upgrade, but upgrades are upgrades, and for the most part, we're looking good. All right, good stuff. Now, onward to this long mission. This is gonna be a little bit on the difficult side, but we do have a party that is built for it, I hope, and we will see if we can get through it. All right, so that's Far fewer enemies. That's really good for this party, and we have an actual map. I don't know why it says long, and that's even interest. Like that's more interesting right now, is that campfire is halfway through this map. So as long as we're reasonably conservative and lucky about how we move, we should be okay. Hmm. So that's interesting. We got something for dispelling that. We are gonna have to check out the nooks and crannies here. Easy gathering, that's good. Busting through here is gonna cost us a shovel. Busting through there is gonna cost us a shovel. And that's, I believe, all of our shovels. Okay, so there's the zip line, which we may just come back for. But I'm not worried about it. Oh, these totems are like right up. Right up uh, on us this time. So that's good. Uh, I don't know how much I have to conserve my energy this time. Let's not play with a corpse. There's nothing here. And the backtrack doesn't cost us anything because we have a cook. Let's check this after all. Take the little items out of it. This may or may not explode on us. I hope it doesn't. We get some cat food. Ted up. Oh wow, we're just finding like all of these right off the bat. I mean, it's good. We'll take it. We get some shinies out of it. We'll cross back up and over. I don't really feel the need to play with that right now. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's take Faye. Let her play with it. Yep, she succeeded. I don't know what it means to succeed or fail on that. We haven't really gotten that far hmm so that's all of these really quick uh, let's bust through here let's find a survivor yep. okay yes and yes alright so you totally get that yeah Oh wow, we got a couple of... Wait, I must not have been paying attention to something. That's attack power and armor. That's gonna go to one of our tanks. Um, 
This is going to go to you, though. Speed evasion. Well, maybe not. Speed evasion crit. That's really more of like our, one of our archer type items. Hmm. This may just go to you. Attack power armor. But that's going to dump your evasion, your speed. Your crit rate goes up. I'm okay with this, I guess. And you. Evasion and physical attack. Yeah, you can you can have that. I'm okay with that. Well, let's see what's over here. The answer is nothing. Now we'll swing back up. Let's see. It's over here. Let's throw some crap in the cauldron again. Let's throw what? Last time we got a bunch of nothing out of it. I don't want to throw purple items into it. That has not ended well yet. Let's throw... Five of these. Couple of these, I guess. Wait, no. You know what? No. Let's throw... Where are the offensive items we have? Right? Like... Jensen Liquor... Let's throw those. The dung bombs. All your grenades. Sure. Let's throw these in the pile and see what we get. Because why not? Cool. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty good. That's less good. Cool. Go. Let's go down, because the backtrack doesn't cost us anything. The documents, I think... I'm going to check them, because this is a new map. It's a waste of stamina, unfortunately. And our first encounter of the round, cultists. Not my favorite here. Arrows of light and dark. If I remember correctly, these things are weak to... Yep, weak to dark. So we can go ahead and go dark, and then we will shoot them all. Get some weakness on, do a ton of damage, shadow strikes, ooh, blind and confused on the front wave is not great. He's going to take a shot. We're going to thunderstorm, because I think in the long run that's going to end up doing a little bit more now that we have all these ailments floating around. A lot of ailments. Oh no. A lot of ailments floating around. I'm going to Dark Wave here. Try to get one down. Thunder Wave helps. You, I would like you to kill him so he can't confuse any more of us. Yeah. You need to hors d'oeuvres yourself. Uh, you don't need to heal again, but wouldn't be the worst thing. You're going to miss your bash and recover from Mesmerize. Blood weapons and light shields for them. I kind of want you to just punch through here, see if we can get through, and you're going to wave and hopefully end them real close. Close enough that the Thundershock is going to finish out. Not pretty, but we did get a, a prism out of it. Those gems are really valuable to us at this point. We're going to come this way and see what's here. Documents again. We're just going to pass on that because we are a little bit low on stamina. And I suspect this is going to take like 5 or 10 to get through. We'll pick up the gold. Head over. Hello, merchant friend. Please have something good. Uh, you are a mess. Unfortunate. So head over this way. That's a big vein. We may have to come back and hit that. And that's just a sign. That's not super helpful. So we're going to shovel. I think that may have been our last shovel. Push through for the bonfire. Recover our stamina, and we are going to be a little bit short on this, I think. We'll find a key. Hey! You! Yay, another cook. So, we'll scavenge her for abilities later. Because I think our current cook is already a survivor, right? Like, yep, layman and survivor. Ugh, pardon. Just rearrange here, and... Yeah. Overall, not too bad. So we're, we're heading over. We'll find some more enemies. 
We just have to be mindful of our stamina. Okay, more cultists. I guess that makes sense, seeing we're busting up their totems here. We're going to find a lot of these. They're going to buff themselves, take an auto, take a couple of autos. Uh, huh. So we're going to dark up, apply the weakness. You, yep. Now, I kind of want to just barbecue the back line, but I don't think that's going to accomplish what we want. So maybe... I don't want her to just, like, accidentally die either, which is kind of a concern. So let's flash freeze this thing, see if we can get some frost bite. Frost... Frost bite down. I'm going to... This is... Well, Thunderstorm here again. And I'm... Hmm... Okay. So let's snap punch? Or one inch. Let's one inch. See if we can get anything through. And then we'll snap and try to bust some of this armor out. Which should leave it vulnerable. Okay, so now we have to decide on whether or not we can... Okay, let's take the free attack with Necrosis. That didn't quite do what we wanted. And let's... Uh, we could spread sadness, but I don't think that's going to quite do what we want. We're going to Dark Arrow here and try to kill him out. Excellent. We'll see the shot come down to at the end of the turn. Now she gets another Exterminate shot, which we will happily take, and then we'll auto to finish him out. So that went relatively well. Ooh, that's I think that's new. Cultist Belt. It's not bad. For the moment, I don't see us using it. Ooh, nice treasure. Gimme, gimme. Okay. Marble staff is good. Another dung bomb. And a rope. So that rope... Let's take a look here at the map real quick. Oh, here's the last totem. So let's break this and see if anything jumps us out of the moon. Nope. All right. That's good. He picked up that. He... That's okay. His evasion is not super important. Uh, let's stay in the dungeon and let's check the map. So there's a lot left here to explore. We're not super big on... We're not we're not jumping the, the river here. So we'll come over here and check it out, though. We don't need to, to zip line away, though. And then we'll head down. We will finish this map up. At the very least, there's another treasure chest here. And there's probably a couple more fights that we can pick up. So we're back to the Witch's Cauldron. Let's throw these... Hello? Yeah, let's throw a couple more things in the cauldron. Let's see what happens if I throw this in it. Um, I don't know what else. You know, we're, we're, we're just going to, like, find... Uh, things in our inventory and just throw them in and see what happens. Sure, we'll throw ten of those in. I need torches. Those are kind of important. Okay, let's see what we get out of it. Let's go. Get lucky. Ooh, that's new. Okay. You won't fall into a coma. Oh. Well, that's less good. No? Take those. Okay. Well... It's new, but it wasn't uh, a great effect. So we can check the documents now. Apparently, we're not smart enough to read them. Head south. Open this. New axe is nice. Ooh, boy. We'll lift more, and I'm going to let the monk do it. Muscle pain successfully lifted. I also apparently forgot to do this. So let's check this out real quick for you. And I believe you want... Uh, no, I need your healing power to not be terrible. So you're just going to take the healing buff there. We could give you this. But I, I just don't see that being the most effective use of your abilities. Let's... Okay. Robe of Light. Yes. We'll take that and give that to our priest. Alright. More cultists. Let's get on them. Arrow of Darkness. Oh, I think she gets like a free attack here somewhere too, doesn't she? No, her free action is shapeshift. Let's... 
Yep, we'll just exterminate. Put some damage into them, get some debuffs out. You, I'm not sure what this does, but let's find out. Oh, that was cool. Not a lot of damage, but... Ow. Jerk. Uh, we're gonna flash freeze them, see if we can get some frost down. Blood weapon, auto attack. This next attack is gonna hurt, but we are gonna try to just crack through as much of his armor as we can before then. We'll get a little down. You, it's the same deal. We'll pollute, which didn't do anything. Gave them a bunch of debuffs. Now we'll dark arrow at him. So at least you got weakness and sullied there. We'll take an auto attack back. And... Yep, she's gonna predator shot. Do a ton of damage there. Pick that up. You don't have this option available. Let's... Can regenerate the back line, or I can just, like, go for him. Let's just go at him. Get some burn down. Flash freeze, or... Slice or mince. I think she can auto and just finish it out. Yep. And you will do the same. We'll auto, punch through. We're just going to try to punch through them. And we're going to fall short by one. Just one. But one is not dead, unfortunately. But very dead is very dead with how Amazon. Uh, another, another topaz here, which is real good. This is going to help us with our crafting when we start having to like really get to it. So that's something to look forward to. Okay, the genie of the lamp. I'm going to come back for that because that has backfired on us a number of times. Like, they are genie wishes. Like, you get what you get out of it. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Holy water. We went through a lot of holy water this time. We don't really need those. We're okay on that. Okay. So, we got mages. Oh, you're not our mage. You're a warlock. Whoopsies. It's fine, because eventually I'm going to get back to my warlock, or my mage, and he's just going to be like, oh, look, an extra shiny. And this is weird, or I don't want to say weird, but it's interesting that I bought all of those, or bot slash made all of those robes, and now these robes are just popping up like candy. Like, we're starting to see that happen a lot, or noticing that happen a lot. Like, the game just kind of, like, if you buy one, the game will give you more. And it's, ooh, I, I wonder how that came about. Or, like, what's going on in the RNG engine that does that? But we have successfully completed this mission. So we're going to get back to home base. We will check out all of our shops first. The tavern. Oh, that's right. We already made a friend. So we will check at that. This I do like, but not on my tanks. Let's see here. No. Thick neck. Skinny. Vertically challenged. Hmm. Not the most helpful. Nothing doing here. What's going on at the church? Oh, that's right. We destroyed the totems. Well then, now to the mountains. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Jerome. Uh, uh. <laughs> Really? Like, when you're being a dick, like, it's okay to call somebody out for being a dick. Oh, he's just acting strict because that's how... It, no. Yeah, that's pretty twisted. Oh, and here's our reward, begrudgingly. I don't like this, so you can have it. Have my garbage. You're very kind. No. Gah. People like that. Personalities like that. Okay, so there's a Mr. Robe. Let's take a second here and... Okay, so we did get a couple of nice shinies out of that. We can... You get the mage only, Robe. Like, no questions asked. Just, you get this. You are getting this for sure. And... I think we even found another staff, didn't we, for you? Uh, it's less healing power, but it's more magic. Uh, that's kind of a trade-off. I'm not super enthused about it. But I'm not upset by it either. You've got a marble staff. You've got a marble staff. Do you have a marble staff? Yeah. I think that's all of them. 
So we'll just hang on to this for a moment. Let's see what traits you ended up with. The only one you have is Survivor. And you are a cook. So let's take our cook real quick. Well, where are you? Aurelia, let's take a look. You have Acumen, Satisfaction, Dietitian. So we'll do the same here. Acumen, Dietitian, Satisfaction. We'll give you some quick gear just so we can take you with us and not have you explode before I eat your face. Um, Traveler's robe is close enough. Accessories. I'm not worried about your accessories particularly. Uh huh. Let's make sure you can not just fall over dead, and we'll give you that for now. It's fine. Okay. So this party is pretty much our long term party. Like, they just are really energy efficient, and they can get through larger maps. We need to rework our second party and our third party. But overall, we're feeling pretty good. Let's let's see what expeditions are available. Is the White Mountains another long one? Okay. That's a medium one. They want us to take a monk, but we're not taking a monk. And then we have these smaller ones. Okay. So let's set up for... Uh, do I want to take the main party and push them to seven? Kind of? Or do I want to take Roland's party and let them struggle through it? I kind of want to take Roland's party. Uh, Renata. Gloria is our new cook, so we can take her as a healer. And then we can take Theodore as our mage. And do I want to take... Exile's kind of ahead a little bit, so I can take this and not feel too bad. One, two, three, four, five. Because Yamila's moving... Uh, you're moving between both parties, aren't you? That's, that's not excellent. But I think this will be okay. Until we find somebody we like a little bit more. I have a lot of extra gold right now, but I feel like that's probably going to just evaporate. But maybe we take the blessings. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We'll see what they do. Oh, well, that was wasteful because it gave them all to the same person. So head into the mountains and start busting up their totems again. And, of course, it's cold and we're going to get frostbite and it's going to be horrible. And immediately we're going to get frostbite. Treasure chest. Let's see if we can bleed too. That'd be excellent. Nope, it's just a mimic. So we'll let's change stance to attack stance because we can just like break through this thing. We've done it before. We should be able to do it again. I can rapid shot, get the free attack. Auto attack, get the second one and put it real deep in the hole. 17 tells me I can just shoot it. And end it right here if we can hit. And we did. That's weird that it's weak to frost while it's out in the mountains like this. Like, you'd think that it would not want to be here of all places if it's already weak to ice. So there's the first totem that we're going to break. Now we're going to take this southern path and just try to keep mapping this area. That's interesting. Snow boots. Does anybody need snow boots? You can wear them, but your speed to Sully resist. What does this change? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm actually okay with that on this map, especially. So we'll come back here. That's the first campfire. We'll take some frostbite. We'll come back around this way. We'll fight some enemies. And we're going to backtrack for that eventually, but because we don't really need to pop it yet, um... Uh, let's, he's got a number of free actions, and we know the camp is there, but I don't want to just, like, waste them. So we're going to do that. We're going to bust through his armor. We're going to rapid shot, take a free shot somewhere, 
And then I... Okay, so this is... You have a good chance to hit that, and if you do, you kill it. Perfect. We don't have a way to really break through whatever it is they're doing. So I think I'm just going to Element Wave. Try... Whoop. Try to mess up their... No, he can't do that. Yeah, he can. Try to mess up their hit chances. Slow him down a little bit. Give him a little bit of Frostbite. Let's... Can she mince this and get it done? She should be able to through the armor. Good hit. Confusion on him's not excellent. I think I'm going to confound and just bust his armor up. Set him up for the next hit. We'll get attacked back. Not my favorite. But you should be able to just like wreck this thing. Perfect. And... I... Okay, so you're a mage. Let's try to electrocute you. Nope. Oh. Ooh, dodge. Good dodge. Let's... Can we confound again? Yep. So let's bust your armor out. Let's mince you. Just do as much as we can. Put you in the ground. Good job, team. Alright. So we're moving right along. Uh, we're gonna check out this way. Good. We found another totem. So we'll break that. Take the shinies. Head up. Head up. And I still don't really need to bust that. Let's not take this risk, though. Ball. Hello? Game? So let's heal the front line a little bit. Let's hors d'oeuvres the back line real quick. Just in case we do end up needing to heal them. Let's break this open. If it's an enemy... Nope, it's a priest. Ooh. A priest with survivor? Yeah. That's that's probably going to replace our other priest. Or I might just keep it around. I don't know. Like, I do like the idea of having a second priest for the parties. But we'll go back and forth. We'll run up here and clear this zone. And by that I mean we'll run into enemies. A couple of yetis. Alright. Now we... Can probably hack through one of them relatively quick, but I also know that they're going to do a lot of damage very quickly. So let's just go ahead and break the armor here. See if we can rapid shot one of them. Then we will... Oh, I probably should have gone with fire first, but... Oops. Uh, yeah. We'll shoot. That wasn't correct. But let's ignite this one. Do a bunch of damage because I... Yeah, that worked out well. We can fan of knives here and kill the one, put a little bit of hurt on the other. Let's go ahead and barbecue this one. See if we can put some more damage into it. The Sully is annoying. We'll take that and an auto attack. But we're just going to burn his face off now. A little bit of fire goes a long way when you have a lot of fur. Ooh, new ring. Crimson ring. Attack power and accuracy. I like it. Let's take a second and check out him, because this is probably where that's going. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely an upgrade. Right? Like, attack power, accuracy. His accuracy is already through the roof, though. Let's... Hmm. So he's at 110 accuracy already? Wow. So this is negative 5. Oh, that's what it is. That's... Okay, so he's got plus 5 somewhere... Plus three, yeah, so he's got plus five accuracy. So we don't really need that on him. So we can put that on you. Your accuracy kind of sucks already, though. So we do have to keep that in mind. The lucky ring. Huh. You do like the passive healing. But I feel like we can find that somewhere else also. But the speed and the HP, I don't know. Like, let's... That does push your accuracy to getting the hits, but I don't want to drop your crit rate. Like, you you get bonuses for crits. What about you? You have plus three accuracy on this. Yep. That's that's a pretty straightforward... Yep. And we will head up. More monsters. More cultists. Jerks. So we'll swap to attack stance. We'll bust through some armor here. Um, elemental arrowhead doesn't really do anything. We'll cheap shot this one. We'll take another shot here. We may be able to just like drop him. 
But do we want to? Let's lightning wave back and see if we can electrocute anything. Uh, confound or autos. 3 to 16. I don't think that quite does what we exactly need. We're not going to auto him. Oh, uh, maybe we will. So let's confound him, bust his armor. Yep. Auto through. Get punched twice. He's probably going to have to heal as soon as we get out of this battle. I... Choices. Penetrative shot. Does rapid shot not cost us anything? I don't know. So he'll take this shot and just rule. Absolutely destroy this thing. So we're just gonna take our shots. Hack through them. Get them dead. Okay, so Renata's caught up. And... That's not excellent on her. Right, like... Healing up, mental control down, mes resist. If... She gets mesmerized... She hacks our party apart and probably kills them. That's not good. Even with this resist, I'm not big on it. Uh, Gambler's Fallacy is also dumping her accuracy. Pardon me. And she prob- Okay, so she's got Cruelty and Weapon Mastery because we're not really blinding. I'm not big on that. I think... You defeat an enemy, gain an action point, or just natural speed and evasion. I think I want natural speed and evasion on her. I'm pretty okay with that. Now she got some more abilities. Surprise attack. Ooh. I like it. Acid blade and leech blade. Ooh. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. Three actions on a rogue? Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. So let's bust this totem. And now what direction do I want to go? I think I'm going to go north is what we're going to do. Well, I'm going to get frostbit. Frostbite for your efforts. And we're going to hors d'oeuvres here. And then we're going to heal the party on the front line. She needs the heal anyway. And there's the last totem. So that clears the map and this mini quest. Get done. Yep. But we're not done yet. We're going to try to clear out as much as this as we can. Oh, that's a frozen doll. Hold on, hold on. Let's go back. Let's find out what this is. Enemy, friend or foe? Foe. Luckily, we do have a pretty diverse party. We're going to be able to hack through them pretty quickly. You can change stance to attack and cleave. Cleave right through them. Send that one into phase shift. Now you can't really hit them. So let's... I guess you're just gonna defend? Like, there's nothing you can do. I don't think you have an attack here either. Which... Not a big deal. Not the best. But you... Goodbye. Almost. You can barbecue the last one if you can hit it. And that's just going to finish the job. So nothing particularly great there. Little XP, and that's sometimes all you can ask for. So now we have more equipment. Let's let Renata lift this one. No, nope, we have Roland in the party. He can go for it. Good job. Let's head up. Documents, let's try those. That's good. That helps a lot. So now we know exactly what we need to check. We'll pick up the treasure chests, come around, let's... Okay, so that one area we were going to backtrack to, we don't really have... Well, we kind of have to. But it's not the worst thing ever. Uh, Sword plus the zip tie line. So let's, we're not losing stamina for back... Oh, we are. I guess our cook doesn't wait. That's interesting. Our cook doesn't have that ability. Gathering does not consume stamina. Uh, huh. Now we have something interesting to look at? Because I don't... I don't think they have the same abilities. Okay, that's... 
That's interesting. So we'll clear these guys out. Ugh, bunny rabbits. These things are a bit of a pain. They're just hard to hit. But we're gonna swipe. Oh, they got some armor on them this time too. We'll fire up. Which can be a bit difficult. He'll shoot one. Uh, you have a low... Wow, you have a low chance to hit all of them. Jeez. Shoot one in the back. See if you can kill it. Good job. You'll take your shot. Kill one more. Fire arrow another. Try to put... Put it down and not quite get there. Barbecue them. Again. This one will just attack and burn itself to death. And now we'll just be able to move on to auto attack and them to, to finish them off. Like, it's that 80-something percent chance to hit that really makes them hard. Because you're, you're just kind of, like, expending resources and it feels bad. So we'll gather this. And is there a campfire on this map? Mm, there was. I'm just bad. Okay, so we're going to come up. We're not... We're going to be really close on being able to finish this out. The healing pond helps. But overall, this is a little on the difficult side. Let's see what the merchant has. The sapphire I will take. The key I will take. Holy water, because we've been blowing through that, trying to bust these uh, cultists out. Let's head this way and see what we can find. It is ore. Free gathering. All right. Head down, and we're probably going to play with their mood a little bit. But not too much. Let's see. Let's throw these into the, the fire. See what we get. Let's throw... Oh, wait. We were throwing, like, this type stuff into the fire. Uh, Let's throw that in the fire. Just one. Why not? And we'll throw a couple of clocks in. An atomizer. I don't know. I'm just kind of like, uh, whatever. Let's throw it in the fire. See what we get. Okay, let's see what these get. Hopefully something high tier. Potion of Fate. You can change Arya's job. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'll use that at any point, but it's interesting to have. Like, that's a pretty unique... Oh, okay, one of these little farts. So these things uh, have messed us up pretty badly before. Let's... To a maximum shield bash free action yeah so this thing sucks um let's go ahead and tend and blow it try to put some debuffs on it we did get a electrocute here let's go for a stun also that it does resist it's going to frost frost us and we are going to remember it this this time we'll take an arrow to it I, uh, that's a good good indicator of how this is going to go because he should be able to just finish this. Good job. In any case, if you're just joining us, thank you very much. My name is Raven. We're playing Aria Chronicles. If you're enjoying the video, please be sure to like, share, subscribe. Check out the links below to help support me. You can find other replays both here on Twitch and over on YouTube. Let's go try to bust these things down as fast as possible. Even if we kind of flub this a little bit, we do have uh, the Fire Wave, which should just finish the job. So we'll take two defenses here. Fire Wave, if you hit some, they die. I guess not. We'll barbecue to finish them off, and then that one will burn itself to death. Looking good. Looking good. We'll take this item and not walk into the trap. Uh, okay, so now we are playing with everybody's happiness. We have to be a little careful. All right, so let's... Nope, so Renata's already unhappy. Let's... Everybody's unhappy now. Let's check him out. We're going to buy this. And this, I guess. Okay, I don't want to play with everybody's mental state anymore. So we are just going to leave... At this juncture, I'm sure those two extra spots are really nice, but we're not going to risk it. So, let's see what the church has to say. This <laughs> jerk butt. Oh, now he's gone. Okay. Well, 
Like, really? You're just going to threaten us? Okay. Oh, no, it's... Okay. <laughs> thought he was talking to us. Just be like, okay. All right. Uh, but I can't say something no, I know when I... Okay. Holy relic? Hi. Give. Uh-oh. What is she hiding? Give. Yeah? <laughs> Get ready for the next mass. <laughs> Not even a thank you. Like, those kinds of, like, high and mighty people, it's just like, I'm going to put this on you, make it your responsibility, and then I'm going to, I guess, bully you into doing it. And then when you do do something like, heh <laughs> doo-doo. <laughs> oh, here's your reward. Thanks. <laughs> These are barely even worth the effort. Oh my god. Okay, so let's check the tavern real quick, see if there's anybody with an interesting anything. So we did pick up two... All or nothing. That's not great. Uh, we did pick up two different units while out there. Thick neck. And nobody to talk to. Cool. So we'd picked up Monica while out there. Let's check your traits. You have survivor. What are your traits? Undead hunter, generous, and collector. So both collector and generous are good. Um, and I think you're just going to become our new healer. But what we want to check now is Revelation versus... Okay, so those both have the same. Aurelia and Gloria also have the same. Okay, so let's check Aurelia real quick. Where is she? She's also Survivor, but she's got all of these other things on her. Including Layman, which is pretty good, so... I can give Layman to somebody else. Um, which I don't feel too bad about. But I don't want to move things around like that too much. So let's definitely... Unfortunately, Aurelia, you are about to get nuked. Or do I want to keep two priests? It's kind of hard, hard, hard decision. Um... Hmm. Well, until I need to eat her, let's not. Let's just give her some equipment, I guess. Oh, uh, what talents do I need to give her? Talents. Bellow, Refugee, and Alacracity. So, let's give her Bellio. Uh, Alacracity. Refugee. A refuge. And then let's just give her some gear for now. We'll see. I mean, being survivor, she's... N yeah, you know what? No. I'm... Sorry, Ornella. But we are going to adjust your equipment here. And feed you... To somebody. We're going to actually feed you to the new priest. That's just what's happening here. Do we want Generous or Collector here? I think we want Generous. That seems really good on you. Yep. Now you get new Shinies. We're also going to eat the other Cook in a second here. And you swap between attacks and defenses. So I'm okay leaving you with that. This, though, is what? Max armor, light attack, dark resist. Light attack up, though, is pretty good on you. I think I'm okay with just giving you the orb, though. I think that's probably just going to be better overall. You get the priest robe. You get... Huh. I don't remember which accessories I had on her. Whoops. Uh, let's give you not aggro. Armor... Effects and XP gain, armor and accuracy, stun resist, 
Crit rate and HP drain. Speed? Okay, yeah, let's give you speed and Sully resist. And then let's give you... Healing up, poison resist, I don't know. Effect and mesmerize resist, XP gain, this seems fine. Okay, well, welcome to the party. Let's hope you do well. Now, Aurelia is our primary cook, which means Gloria is about to get eaten. Right, so let's remove all of her equipment. Let's check her traits. Oh, the only trait she has is survivor. Let's... Who can eat and not feel bad? Renata needs to catch up a little bit. Yamila needs to catch up a little bit. Monica needs to catch up a little bit. Amar also. So let's give you to... Uh, Renata's the furthest behind. Who's the furthest behind? 3207 versus... 43, 3207. Yeah, it's going to go to Renata. Her mood just, like, makes it hard to put her in parties, apparently. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's just what we have to do here. But that'll help her catch up a bit. It's not a ton of XP, but it's enough. Um, and now we are back to this. Let's edit the party, and let's just go bust up a boss, I guess. Let's take Arya, Yamila, uh, Monica? That seems fun. Or, you know what? No, let's not do this. Well, no, this is this is okay. Do I want... Uh, let's take Tilla. We have a healer. And I guess let's take Zaki. Let's see how this party does. Um... And what we're going to do is we are... Well, we're, let's check out these real quick. Make sure there's nothing super interesting or pressing here. Uh, we can craft new shinies, but I don't feel a super drive to do that. Magic attack 2, healing 2 is pretty nice. For the most part, though, if I have to choose, I think I'm just going to hold on to things until I can upgrade her. In the alchemy lab, we need shovels again. <sighs> I don't mind buying a key. We're good on torches, and we're good on the rest of this. Let's check our inventory real quick, because I think we're getting tight again. Uh, let's just buy slots. That seems great. Uh, we can sell a couple of these. Just the normal tier stuff. Not worry about it too much. Let's definitely buy a slot here, and this is really close. What can we let go of? Let's sell that. Anything in the threes and above, we can kind of get rid of. I don't want to dump, like, an entire atomizer. Let's dump some heal pots. Let's dump... I don't know, because we're starting to get, like, rare quality weapons, too. I... Mentality recovery... Oh, man, I didn't realize that was mentality recovery. Those are really much better than I thought they were. Um, Action point up. We are getting close. We don't really use those, so we can let go of those. These I'm not a big fan of. We can just keep throwing those in the fire. So I think we're okay for now there. Let's see if the black market has shinies. It does. Uh, yeah, I want these. And we will... Call that. So we've only got a little bit more time here. So let's finish off with a battle in the arena. Let's see... Hi. Yeah, I am back. That's right. Let's see what we have. Challenge mode. Let's bust up the ogre this time. S Hello? Yep. Oh, it's the carrot eater. That's right. Okay, so now let's go with... That's just us? Sanctuary the party, maybe? Single target. Not much. Okay, so you don't appear to have too much, but let's... Who do I not want to get destroyed here? Let's have you fade out, and then let's let you just, like, start wailing on this thing. He's going to open with a stun, which is not fantastic. And if I remember correctly, I don't really have a way to... Um, whoops. Let's protect the party. Frontline only. Free action, frontline. 
I don't have a way to really break through armor, which is not good here. So we're just going to go for what we have. We'll take a turn away from him, at least, with stun. Let's Necrosis on the free action. Good. And then we want to try to Sully him. Duration Extended. Curse, Fog, Stigma. Huh. So he is weak to Dark, which is a plus. So maybe we want to give Dark Weapon to somebody. And... It's not yet. Let's just Sully. Try to make him sad. You're going to Thirst and try to get your Familiar in here as soon as possible. Ah. So we're going to watch him like try to AoE us down, which is not fantastic. We're going to summon our Familiar, though. Now, Light Wave doesn't really do a lot. Light Weapon's not super helpful. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, I guess we're just going to keep firing off into this thing for now. Ah, Weakness Dark and Sully. That's good. You're going to... Yep, just... Oh. Miss. Ow. Please stop hitting him. We're going to let you eradicate. Do a ton of damage there. You, I want to follow up with... Huh. Fall into a coma afterwards. That's not great. Dark weapon? Let's dark weapon here, I guess? You might already have dark weapon, but... We'll find out. He's going to heal, which is super annoying. Not a big deal, but just annoying. I think i got to be a little careful with how I spend her MP, because we're going to need it to heal in the near future. Ah. We need to reapply Sully here shortly. I think you're just going to bash. Yep. Not doing a ton of ow damage, but we are getting those in. And the fact that he keeps sullying himself is pretty good. We'll pollute. Hello? Nope, no target on pollute. And we're just going to dark arrow in. We're just going to try to keep that on him as much as possible. You I would like to alt. So we're going to alt this. We're going to see if we can... Oh, yeah. Just... Oh, 150. Uh, a stun to our healer is not excellent, so we are going to put on a passive stun now. Or a passive heal. We'll set up Aura of Healing, which it won't trigger every time, but it should be pretty good. He doesn't have the debuff on him now, so we're just going to Bone Strike, put on some armor of our own. We will Necrosis, put this on, get some weakness. Throw some more dark at him. Get that Sully back. Now, for you, let's push him even further. And just watch him go to town on this thing. 60 points. The counterattack, not great. Now, let's just be safer than sorry. We'll heal up on the back line. These are our mages. Ow, ow, ow. We're glad we did that. Ah. He's just going to town on us. But we're going to see if we can get a stun here. Nope, that missed. We're going to eradicate the Sully again and miss. We are going to get a heal from the Familiar, which is not what I want. Like, I really want him just bashing in. He'll act on his own and... Huh. Okay. Healing power to the Familiar, not super helpful. We're just going to Arcane Thirst and then we're going to take a big shot at him. Ow, 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 stop. And here's an arcane arrow to the face. Hopefully this will be real close to finishing him. And it is. We should be able to put him out on the next hit. And we did. Great job, team. Wow. It took a little bit longer than I expected, but we did get a token out of it. And we got another dragon shield, which is pretty good. I wonder if we can just keep fighting the same boss over and over. That'd be a thing. But... In any case, uh, we are getting close to time here. I think we are going to call this an excellent time to pause. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed hanging out, please do the like, share, subscribe thing. Check out the links below to help support me. We're playing like these JRPG story-driven type games in the mornings, usually around 9 a.m. Eastern. We're playing Pokemon Unite and more adventure-y, action-y, adventure-y type games in the evenings, usually around 9 p.m. No, not 9 p.m., excuse me. 7? Wow, let's mix this up. 9 a.m. Eastern for, like, JRPG games. 7 p.m. Eastern for action-y, adventure-y MOBA types. 
there we go. You can find my replays both here on Twitch and over on YouTube. Uh, you can find my other projects over on Twitter. Thank you for joining me, and we will see you all later.